Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar medium. In short form, we can say TCBS agar medium. Now, this media is again a selective media which is specially used for the isolation of different pathogenic Vibrio species except Vibrio holacei. So all the Vibrio species can grow but Vibrio holacei can be grow on this media. Then this media was first of all formulated by a scientist named Nakaneshi and uh, then some other you know researcher like uh, Kobeshi at all a little bit modify this media and due to this way this media was just used for the isolation of Vibrio species. Let's talk their uses. This media is specially used for the isolation of Vibrio cholera, Vibrio parahemolyticus from fish, seafood, biological sample of animal origin etc. This media is also used to control outbreak of a corn thrown sea star. Then for what what are the main composition that are present no. <coughs> now let's talk about the composition of this media means what type of ingredient are present in this media this media contains sucrose sodium citrate nacl distal water ox bile ferric citrate thiomol blue di dipeptone sodium thiosulfate its extract sodium chloride bromothymol blue and agar you can see these are the amount of uh, these ingredients uh, for one liter so you can see then what are the main principle of this uh, media let's talk about that as we talk that this media contains thiosulfate as well as citrate and this media have a high alkalinity property due to this way a lot of enterobacteria see family may not grow on this media now the presence of ox bile and sodium cholate inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria then we have bromomethyl blue and thymol, uh, thymol blue which are acting as a ph indicator so as this media also contains sucrose so remember guys when sucrose are fermented acid is produced due to which the ph drop so once the ph drop so we get yellow colony from blue so this indicate the sucrose fermentation and uh, acid production then we have each extract and peptone that are specially used as an energy source because it can provide nitrogen, vitamins, amino acids which are specially used for bacterial growth and division. Then we have sodium chloride that actually provide optimum growth. Now due to this way the metabolic activity of hydrophilic vibrio species, halophilic vibrio species may increase. Then we have agar that is acting as a solidifying agent which provide a stable surface for the bacterial due to which it grow in the form of coruni. Now the presence of thiosulfate act as a sulfur source so it can be then detected uh, by the uh, ferric citrate. So the presence of sulfur source then we have uh, thiosulfate sodium thiosulfate you know that act as a sucrose source now the utilization of this thiosulfate the bacteria will produce hydrogen sulfide that will be detected by the presence of ferric citrate so that's the principle of the media let's talk that how we can prepare this media this media is prepared to take uh, you know almost 88 gram of the uh, media in one liter and after that you know we will heat mix it and dissolve means through with the help of a uh, hot plate almost uh, uh, 70 to 80 degrees celsius uh, until and unless the all the ingredient will completely dissolved so we do not uh, uh, you know autoclave this media once we are to clave so all the ingredient will be destroyed and a lot of other bacteria can also be grow once the media are uh, heat dissolved or mixed uh, so then uh, the media should be cooled down and the temperature will be 50 degrees celsius at a 50 degree celsius so then we will pour this media on petri plate uh, uh, into sterilized petri plate so after that we will uh, after the media solidify so then we will streak the sample so that's how we can prepare and use this media 
now what type of uh, bacteria can grow as we talked that uh, only in this media only vibrio species can be easily grow and uh, uh, it can inhibit a large number of uh, gram positive and gram negative bacteria so it is selective uh, media for the vibrio species so let's talk that how the vibrio species will be look like now if we talked about the vibrio color so it will produce flat yellow colonies so these are the vibrio colors we can see flat yellow colonies then we have a view laticus that produce large yellow colonies so as you can see these are the vibrio algino laticus then we have uh, vibrio felvus and vibrio uh, velnifugus that produce yellow or translucent colonies then we have vibrio para hemolyticus that can produce colorless colony with green center so as you can see these are the colorless green uh, with green center colonies so that's all about the back uh, means uh, tsbs Thank you so much for watching.